So let's have a look at an example where we actually use the average velocity. Okay, where we actually calculate average velocity using the displacement. Okay, so here they tell us that a car travels 240 kilometers in 3 hours and 22 minutes. What is the average velocity? So I'm just going to work it out here. Of course, I know that my formula for my average velocity is given by average velocity is equal to the change in displacement over the change in time. Okay, and the units that we work in here is meters and seconds. So they didn't give us the displacement, they just said a car travels this kilometers. So we will assume that that is then indeed the displacement. Um, we assume it's on a straight line. So we already know what is the displacement, but not exactly because it's given in kilometers. So we need, need to take 243 kilometers into meters. Okay, and hopefully from the previous videos you've learned that that means I'm going to have to multiply with 10 to the power of 3. Okay, so it's 2, 4, 3 times 10 to the power of 3 meters. Okay, um, I can just put in the answer that's 3 zeros, 243,000 meters. Now also they give us 3 hours and 22 minutes, so we're going to have to change 3 hours and 22 minutes into seconds. Okay, so that means we're going to take 3 hours, which is times 60 squared, plus 22 minutes, which is 22 just times 60. So the 60 squares makes the 300 uh, or the 3 into 3 hours into seconds and the 22 minutes times 60 also makes it into seconds. And when we calculate that, what do we get? So we get 3 times 60 squared plus 22 times 60 and we get a total of 12,120. 12,120. Okay, all of this is what we now go substitute into our formula. Okay, there's our formula at the top. So what we've done is we know which formula to use. We've done our, done our stock taking. So we've done our time, uh, sorry, our displacement, which is this. So we have our displacement. Now we also have our change in time. And now we can simply go and substitute into this formula, which now goes like this. Velocity, average velocity is, okay, change in displacement, which is two, four, three, zero, 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 divided by one two one two zero and now when we get our answer two four three zero 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 divided by one two one two zero equals twenty point zero four meters per second twenty comma actually zero five we must round to two decimal places okay that's forty nine will become fifty meters per second Okay. Another way of writing meters per second is meter times okay meter times second to the power negative one. Okay, now it's about entering this answer in here. Okay, so first of all, very nice about this question, it takes you through the steps. First we need to know which formula we're going to use. Some of these might look unfamiliar to you, that's okay, we'll get to them. This one looks familiar, we know it's the right formula. Okay, then the next is our stock taking step. So we need to do our stock taking. And here they tell us only use the standard metric units. That's when we know we need to use meters and seconds. Okay, we do not know the average velocity yet. Okay, um, these we don't know them, they're not important at this point, but we do know the average displacement. Sorry, not the average displacement, the displacement. Okay, the displacement is 243. 
zero 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 and here you can leave out the units you don't have to put in meters here or you shouldn't put in meters here okay then the time taken how much time did it take a hundred that twelve thousand one hundred and twenty seconds okay and then finally we need to substitute so no, we know we're working out velocity and we are substituting and in the substitution step we have to write this whole thing out okay that's where you're getting your marks from for this question two two four three zero 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 divided by one two one two zero always click on preview okay just confirm that it is indeed correct that does look okay and then we finally just solve it our velocity is equal to and we've worked it out 20.05 please remember to input your units meters per second or you might also write it as meter times second to the power of negative one just a reminder don't put meter point second that's wrong okay the computer recognizes the point as a comma delimiter okay so you need to remember that to use a multiplication there or just write meters per second like that that should be fine always preview and that looks absolutely perfect 2.20.05 meters per second one very important thing that we maybe should also just say here and include and and I'll try and include it in the question as well is that we should put in direction okay now since no direction was given we just say in the direction in the direction of motion okay which just means in the direction it's moving it was moving we assumed that this travel is that traveling that he did is um, in a straight line which means he was moving in a straight line and since he was moving in a straight line okay that is the line of motion motion just means the uh, displacement in uh, space so in that direction of that displacement that would also be the direction of this velocity well done